Hello, welcome again, and uh, this is okay. This is the sixth tutorial on Java web application development. Uh, so let's continue the series. And till now, we have developed this application, and this is your home page. And when I run the application, it's showing the launching page with some slider. So uh, step by step, we had we have done this and i think login registration is not there so we just added one page there for the home page now let's add a registration and login page then we'll uh, move to some coding part uh, to perform the login and registration activity in the application so so here uh, as we are following the code over codec tutorial so i'm gonna keep this three article for now uh, like data utility and this I'm just going to move on the user registration for the designing purpose after this after designing of this user registration we will move to this utility and the server side programming or the Java programming so let's design another uh, let's design the another page which is called registration.jsp so let's create another JSP page so I'm gonna just switch to my STS tool and I open the JSP folder. You can see here to folder L2, some files are already there. So I'm going to create a new file and that file will be JSP. So I just select JSP file and the file name will be user. user view. Uh, user view means it's going to be a registration page for the user. So I'm not going to name as a user or registration. I'm going to set it name as user view. So I just finish it and you can see a dummy page is there. So I'm going to change the page title. So the page title will be registration or you can say the user registration. So I'm going to update it as a user registration. Another page. Uh, let's, let's 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 finish this first. Then we'll move for the login. So uh, we need some designing part. So it's here we have that complete code. I guess. Yes. Okay. So here I have that code for the registration. So let me copy the same code. And we'll remove some unused code. So we uh, so this is the mix of code with uh, JSP and HTML. So we just need a design. We, we just need to design a simple HTML form uh, for the registration user. So let me run this. So I'm gonna copy this code. I'm going to paste it here. So the complete code, I guess. Yes. So here in this code, I'm going to just remove this. I don't need this. Just remove it. We'll add it later. So now you can see the title is user registration already. And now in the body tag, you can see we included the header file which for now we don't need this uh, Java Java or separate code we'll add it later so I guess everything is done now yeah it's fine so these are the single inputs you can see here uh, the, let's understand this HTML code so under the body part we include the header file and then you can see the main under the main it's going to use this login form plus this is coming from the bootstrap so the void part is this so here we are going to use a form which is the html form and for using for the registration under this form we have some fields uh, so these are the hidden fields so we can remove it for now like, because it's not in a use so let me remove them yeah let's remove this okay fine now we have this field so this is the field for the first name you can see and this is the field for last name and just a bit 
this is the field for login ID and password, date of birth and mobile number also. Also we'll update this phrase code uh, for the designing purpose and I will update this article. Uh, that is, I will update uh, this article and provide uh, this designing code above this tag. Fine. So the uh, user view is ready. Uh, now I just need to include the user view in the header part. So uh, exactly what we are doing here, we are going to add the link here as a registration page. So when, whenever I click on this registration page, it will show at the page which will load. And so you can see under here in the registration page, we need to pass the link. So JSP slash it's user view dot jsp what does mean it means like this the, the the location company location of user view dot jsp it's under the jsp folder so we put jsp less user view dot jsp and let's rerun the project and check it's working on now so as I uh, the application is logged in so when I click on the home it will show like this and when I click on the user view it's showing me error so because it's taking an extra JSP page so I'm gonna just do this so right now the header and user view in the same page same folder so I don't need to put this JSP so I can use directly user.jsp so when I click on the <coughs> let me click on the registration let me run the application from scratch. So this is, will be a home page. Click on the login. Click on the registration. So this time it's not showing the user page, right? So Let me run it again. I put JSP this and then should we come okay fine so now it's working so when I click on the user view so when I click on the registration but for the second time it's not working because it's taking an extra JSP folder here and for that just re re remove it so now you can see the registration page is designed and it's working fine here now we need to link a login page let's design a login page and link up it so for the login also I'm going to use the pre-built code that we have already to design this so let me share it I'm going to copy this. We'll remove the necessary code. So, uh, for the mapping purpose, this for, for, for this mapping will show you the another possible way to manage this thing. This is just a temporary that we are passing directly file name here. That's not a good practice. But for now, for the displaying the result, it's necessary. Uh, in upcoming videos we'll see how can we map proper urls uh, so it will not occur any error or cannot be a reason of any error so let's create a login page another jsp uh, which will be your login view login view and under this i'm gonna pass the code so let's remove some java code and let's focus on the HTML things. Just remove it. Okay. So we are including the header and footer in the same way. And you can see one tag is there, one accent form. Form is starting from here and it's going to be end here. In this form, we create uh, some fields. 
and the first one is login ID so user going to enter the login ID this and the password so it's going to be a password enter going to password here and this is the button and the forget link with this so this is your forget link <coughs> so now again let's move to the header and provide this path of the JSP let's uh, login view dot JSP so let's run this code again and check the output is it working or it's linked successfully or not so click on the login <coughs> you can see the login page is there and then the forget link is also there so now the designing part is done now we'll move to the programming part and we'll send some requests to the servlet we'll manage we'll, in next video we'll create some servlet some packages there so we'll configure the java part and <coughs> start the programming for the server site and configure the database as well and thank you uh,